I need to buy groceries so that I can make that lasagna before I get Jimmy from soccer practice. He will- ah! Oh my god, are you okay? Have you ever heard about Imgui? You are insane. Welcome back to another video. Today, I finally cover a bit of Imgui. I got the recommendation from a beautiful person in my Discord, and it became today's objective. But what is Imgui? Imgui, immediate mode graphical user interface, is a lightweight and intuitive library for creating user interfaces in software applications using a simple code-driven approach. In this video, we will create a small sample that includes some text, sliders, and more to get you started. I love making videos for you guys, so please subscribe, like, and write a comment. This way I can continue to make content. Also, I would like to mention that I couldn't make this video without the help of a, another great individual. So make sure to check him out as well. All right, so let's take a look at the end product that you will have after completing this tutorial. So you will have your own Im GUI project that has some sliders, has checkboxes, has input windows, and you can continue to code on this at your own pace. So I hope you guys enjoy. And we're back at the desktop. So as you can see, I have created my own wallpaper I've added it to Wallpaper Engine and it looks pretty dope. I've added some rain effects or sound effects and so on. And this is the results. So if you want to have this yourself, I might add it to the workshop, but I will need, need to see some comments requesting it first. So let's create this I am GUI <laughs> GUI Im GUI that we want. So uh, we will create a new project. It will be a console app and this console app will have the project name of my first Im GUI Im GUI GUI So the framework you can use whatever framework you want. I will use the .NET 6 framework. Uh, and remember what framework you have added because it's actually important for this tutorial. And I will show, show you guys in a second why it's important. So for EM GUI, we need some NuGet packages. And we will go down under project, manage NuGet packages. We will go to browse and then we will search for im GUI. And you will see this imgui.net. You will install the latest one. Once you have installed the latest one, you will go back to the search inputs text box and write six labor. You will install six labors image sharp. After that, you will install Veldrid dot im GUI. And finally, or actually not finally, my bad, we will need vortis.mathematics. So all of these packages will work together under 
the next NuGet package and I will show you guys. So the last one will be clickable transparent overlay. So this clickable transpar transparent overlay. Actually, I will not install. So I can't install the latest one because I'm using .NET 6. As you can see, you get this error. So if you're using .NET 6 as me, you will have to go to the latest .NET 6 one. So go down on the version and then select 6.2.1 and install. So you can see the depend dependencies which we are using here is imgui, six labors, vortis, vortis direct. So we're using all of these NuGet packages to do some rendering, all of the background work of imgui. Now that we have all of the needed packages, we can start to create our application. So we will add using im, im GUI net using clickable transparent overlay. And we will actually be using system.numerics. Here we will create a namespace. So namespace. Let's call it imgui test for of a for of a lack of a better name. And within this namespace, we will have a public class program. And this program will actually I'm back, sorry. This program will actually inherit from the overlay so clickable transparent overlay it will inherit its features and we will need to add a render void or a render method because our program does not uh, implement inherited abstract member overlay dot render so we will need to add a protected override void render. There we go. Now the error is gone and we can continue. So when the, within this class or our program class, we will add some variables. So we will have a boolean checkbox value which will equal to false we will have an integer which we will call love meter so if you're wondering what these variables the purpose of them uh, we're going to have them as references to our uh, elements on the im gui form so we will have an input as well, which will be a string. We will have a second input, input two. There we go, and that needs an equal sign. And we're good to go. So within this render method, we can do some in GUI stuff, some GUI stuff. So we will use in GUI dot begin and we will begin our new window so you can call it whatever i'll just call it my first window we will call it my first window so we have our window but uh we want to add some other elements. So let's add a text. So GUI dot text and we will write 
subscribe to the Swedish map. That's me. And now, if we run it, nothing will show. That's because we haven't used the class.start method. So the class.start method will uh, sort of include my bad it will uh, or we will start the rendering loop when we use the program dot start method so below our protected override method render we will create our main method or method so public static void main it will use the string array argument and here we will let's just write we will write uh, something like starting in GUI and then we will create a new instance of our program and from that program we will start and use wait. There we go. This will start the render loop or it will trigger the render loop. And we can continue to add features. So let's uh, just uh, take a look at what we have now. So if we start it, we can see that subscribe to the swedish man you can resize it to however you want and you have your first in gui window so let's continue and add some more features so we will add a slider now so we'll use in GUI and then slider int for integer we will add a label so how much i appreciate this video or something and we will refer to the if you remember the love meter which sort of explains the love meter and as you can see here we have uh, v underscore min and v underscore max so the minimum value will be 1 and the maximum value will be 10 after that we have or we will add a checkbox so in GUI dot checkbox we will add a label which will be called for example uh, limited ammo just as, as an example and we will refer to our checkbox value we can also add a child window so how we do that is by using the begin child so as we begin again our window we will begin a child window whatever you want to call it element and this child window we'll just call it child window and the size of it will be let's create a new vector 2 and the size will be 300 by 200 you can choose your own size i'll just use this so we have a new shell window. Let's add some content into this shell window. So we'll add some text once again and shell window content. And we're done. Let's also add an input field. So in 
GUI dot input text and here we will use or write label b in input and we will refer to our first input variable the max length will be 16 so that's how you create an input field but after that we will need to and or and the child and then place the next im GUI element on the same line. So we will uh, now let, let's uh, test this first. So we will run our application and check what comes out. So it's a bit uh, wonky the size. You can change this. But you can see here is a slider, our integer slider. We have the text, we have a checkbox, we have a child window content here. You can write whatever you want. Now, uh, let's add a second child. So, before we do that, I want to have the next child on the same uh, line. So, I will use imgui dot same line and then I will just copy and paste this code. So create some space, copy paste, remember to rename it to the second and here it doesn't really matter. Let's call this one second input. We will reference the next input like that. And now let's watch how it goes. So we have a second child. We can write something here. We can write something here. You can check our checkbox. You can slide. You can do a lot of stuff. So at the end of our render method, we will use the imgui dot and to aim or to end the main window so nothing's loose and that's it for this video so if you guys want me to continue in imgui and uh, explore furthermore within this subject Feel free to mention it in the comments and remember to go check out the beautiful creator H2O plus NA. He, he has been a supporter of the channel and he created a lot of good videos on this subject. So if you want to watch more of imgui in c sharp then continue there and i'll see you guys in the next video